Good morning, everybody. You're watching The Morning Show. I'm Liza Fromer here with the Bare Naked Ladies. Hi, guys. Hello. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to chat in a little while, but we wanted to get straight to the music. So performing one of their biggest hits, Pinch Me, The Bare Naked Ladies. It's the perfect time of year Somewhere far away from here I feel fine enough, I guess Considering everything's a mess There's a restaurant down the street Where hungry people like to eat I could walk, but I'll just drive. It's muckier than it looks outside. Life could be the kind of little blood that's gone when you try to see the world that comes out to see on when you try to see the world beyond your front door. Take your time to where I'm gonna make you smile when you realize that I got my smile to go wild. Still try to figure out what all. It's the perfect time of day To throw all your cares away Put the sprinkler on the lawn And run through with no clothing on Take a drink right from the hose Then change into my sister's clothes Climb the stairs up to my room Sleep away the afternoon Like the dream you can remember what's young And you try to see the world comes out as the young When you try to see the world beyond your front door Take your time to where I'm gonna make you smile When you see the real life the camera's about to take a while Still trying to figure out what all such as this It's hard to tell if I exist I'll pack the car and leave this town Who'll notice that I'm not around I could hide out under there I just made you say underwear I could leave, but I'll just say All my stuff's here anyway I could give you time and remember, but it's gone Then you try to see it only comes out of the yard When you try to see the world beyond your front door Take your time to wear out, gonna make you smile When you realize that again, my smile take a while Just to try to figure out what all Gentlemen, the new minister at St. Andrew's Church, Kevin
Never too early for rock. Struck by lightning sounds pretty frightening, but you know the chances are so small. Stuck by a piece thing, nothing but a bee thing. Better chance you're gonna buy it at the mall. But it's a 23 4 to 1 that you can fall in love by the end of this song. So get up, get up, tell the bookie put a bet up, not a damn thing will go wrong. The odds are that we will probably be all right. Odds are we gonna be all right, odds are we gonna be all right tonight. The odds are that we will probably be all right, odds are we gonna be all right, odds are we gonna be all right for another night. Hit by the train, crashed in an airplane. Wouldn't recommend either one. Killed by a great white or a meteor ride. Guess there ain't a way to go that's fun. But somewhere in the world, someone is gonna fall in love by the end of this song. So get up, get up. No, I'm never gonna let up, so you might as well sing along. The odds are that we will probably be all right. Odds are we gonna be all right. Odds are we gonna be all right tonight. The odds are that we Probably be all right. Odds are we gonna be all right. Odds are we gonna be all right for another night. Sure, things go wrong, but I'll take my chances. Odds are long, so why not play? Sounds pretty frightening, but you know the chances are so small. Hit by the A train, crashed in an airplane. Better chance you're gonna buy it at the mall. But it's a 23 4 to 1 that you can fall in love by the end of this song. So get up, get up. No, I'm never gonna let up, so you might as well sing along. The odds are that we will probably be all right. Odds are we gonna be all right. Odds are we gonna be all right tonight. Odds are that we will probably be all right. Odds are we gonna be all right. Odds are we gonna be all right tonight. The odds are that we will probably be all right. Odds are we gonna be all right. Odds are we gonna be all right tonight. The odds are that we will probably be all right. Odds are we gonna be all right. Odds are we gonna be all right for another night. You're watching The Morning Show, and joining me now, all the members of the Bare Naked Ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for being here, guys. You got your new uh, album coming out called Grinning Streak, June the 4th. I love the title, once again. Thank you. I, I don't know that there are, is an artist around in any capacity who has a play on words the way you guys do. We're pun meisters. William Come. Shakespeare, I believe, was pretty good. Uh, yeah. Still around in Stratford. <laughs> yeah, right. He, yeah. He has a limited Ontario. run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know the album that I still listen to the most of yours and, and I would recommend to every single parent watching is Snack Time. Oh. That you guys put out in two. I literally have listened to that album about 5,000 times. It was for children, but also for their parents. Because so. we know when kids like something, they listen to it over and over and over again. So we want it to be entertaining for parents. That's it, the one about the frog? We're currently the working on the bug, yeah. Yes! Nice. So beautiful, I love it. <laughs> so. We're currently working on a record for seniors called Nap Time. <laughs> <laughs> I fully fall in that demographic if it's As a senior. As a senior. I totally understand. As a napper. <laughs> I will be in that wheelhouse for you. Um, I want to talk a little bit, Ed, to you about singing with Commander Hadfield a little while ago. What was that like? It was sort of a drag. Right? Just another day. It was amazing. You know, I, I thought I was doing Chris a huge favor when I agreed to co-write a song with him. And it has just been such a pleasure for us to, to be a tiny dust moat on his intergalactic coattails throughout this <laughs> process. It was an amazing experience. 
yeah. incredible. We had the Wexford Gleek singing with us, Chris live on the ISS. It was a pretty remarkable experience. And are you still in touch with him? Did he choose yeah. to reach out to you originally? He, he reached out to the band actually more than 10 years ago uh, a, as a fan when we were touring through Houston, which is where Mission Control uh, for the shuttle uh, missions was. And he invited us down and gave us an awesome tour. And so we've kept in touch ever since. We've been friends for a long time. Amazing. Uh, yeah. So the, the title Grinning Streak and the album itself seems it's upbeat happy would you say that that's where you are as a band you're in a good happy place now this record was more fun to make especially since the last one right and uh we worked with a producer named gavin brown and howie beck who really helped capture us just kind of playing together we didn't uh, overwork the songs we kind of caught them when we were just finding our parts and playing together as a band and i think that there's a real sense of spontaneity i think and, and confidence on the record you guys been together? It's 25 years this fall. Wow. Craziness. And Tyler, did I read that you were at a busker fest when you met Ed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ed and Jim were um, playing with uh, with the Bare Naked Ladies and I was sort of, you know, playing with another band and I thought, those guys are good. I want to be with them. That's right. So we were walking by his band, the Would Be Goods. Would Be Goods, yeah. And it, we, That's Tyler had cool, like, title. cool dreads and he's like, Bare Naked, Bare Naked Ladies, right on. And we went, he knows our name. <laughs> he could be in the band. <laughs> At that time, that's what it took. To be yes. in Bare Naked Ladies, you just had to recognize us. And they have dreads. They almost fired me when the dreads were uh, like when they came out. Removed. <laughs> really? Yeah. That was an integral part of the hiring? Yeah, of course. I mean, right? that's part of my personality. How did you come up with such a unique style, though? Did, was it, did everybody bring something? Because you don't sound like anybody else. I, I think it's a product of being four guys with very uh, different influences and interests and everybody kind of brings their uh, viewpoint into what we do you know uh, when we bring the songs to the band they're very skeletal and, and everybody is involved in the arrangement and kind of adding their own voice plus we all sing and that's a rare thing Kevin plays approximately 987 different instruments too that so really? That, that really helps Are you yeah. a prodigy Oh, I just like different instruments, yeah. Oh. I'm a prodigy. Ever since you were a tiny guy? Ever since I was a tiny little kernel of corn on the cob. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first instrument? Piano. Piano? Yeah, I loved the Beach Boys, the Beatles, when I was five, and I asked my mom if I could take piano lessons. So. That's what I always find so interesting, because I have little kids, and I think, what do, how do I even know? Is it soccer? Is it piano? Is it what is yeah, it? And then yeah. sometimes you just know. Did You just knew? I just knew that's what I wanted to do. The best thing to do is probably push them as hard as possible in hockey <laughs> in the hopes that they will become an NHL star. Right. Because <laughs> the odds are that they will. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Tech completely removed their love for the game. So later on right, in life, exactly. they don't have to worry this about it. This is all about all. my retirement, honey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's focus on that. Um, so how long did it take you to put this album together? Do you find now that you've been together for 25 years, it's just something you can bang through, or is it sort of a, is it a laborious process? It was pretty fast. I, I mean, because we've played together so long, we can listen to a song and get in there, and it sounds like a band pretty quick. Right. You know? We knew we were going on a summer tour, and we wanted to play new songs. So right. we sort of put it into gear and got it done. That was the motivation? Yeah. Are you guys inspired by anybody musically? Who do you look up to, or who did you look up to when you were coming up? Um, well, the Beatles is an inspiration for every band. They yeah. kind of wrote the alphabet. And right. if they're not, you're lying. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. If then you're not, just too cool for school when you're like, whatever. If they're not, you're getting them secondhand through another influence. But they really kind of did everything first. <laughs> right. Yeah, if you're walking around going, I love Oasis, you actually just love Oasis. Yeah. Uh, Neil Young's a huge inspiration. Um, Contemporary bands like Metric, it's, you know, just our contemporaries like Metric are something we rubbed off on us on this yeah. record, I think. You know, so working with Gavin, who'd work with them, and, and local, Feist as well. Local. Yeah, local inspiration is easy yeah. to come by these days. Like, yeah, yeah, no yeah people like Feist or, or Metric or Broken Social, or Ron Sexsmith, like yeah. people who are our colleagues and friends are, are consistently doing great work. And it's like, okay, we gotta 
we're part of this too, you know, we're part of this community. We got to put out something great as well. Well, it's really cool that you're still part of this community. You guys have sold 15 million albums. It you keeps can... going up by 1 million every time, <laughs> every day. You sold, yeah, 975 billion albums. <laughs> <I know. laughs> and, and, Swimming in. So you can, you know, live where you want, work where you want, you choose to stay here. Why? We love Canada. And we're proud to be Canadians and proud to be part of this community. Yeah. Absolutely. Is, is there a certain, I mean, I saw you walking up at I think, and I just thought, and I've seen Getty Lee around town, lead singer from Rush, and I thought, is that partly why you stay, that you can just walk around? It's a great place to live, you know. Um, Toronto's a great city. We, we all have family here, and we grew up here, and uh, most of our work is done in the United States and has been for the last 15 years, yeah. but this is a nice place to come home. and. Love Relax. hearing that. Particularly this stretch right here between <laughs> yeah. and Church. It's a real nice place yeah, to I come know. to. Yeah. Yeah, make the it... acoustics are amazing here. <laughs> Aren't they though? There's my, right? my flower garden All over just there. Wide open. Myself. The album is called Grinning Streak. The new single is called Boomerang, and they will perform when we come back. The Bare Naked Ladies. See you in a minute. Their new album, Gritting Streak, performing Boomerang, the Bare Naked Ladies. Moving at the speed of sound, you think I'd be slowing down, but I'm not losing my momentum. There are ways to turn around, so I don't crash into the ground. I wish someone would invent them. Despite the pretty dress and curls, you don't throw like other girls. You follow through, but I'll come on back, cause I know, though you meant to let me go, I could always be your boomerang. I'll come on back, you'll see, all you said got through to me, and I would like to be your took my eyes off you, but I got dizzy and you threw me, you were right too, but I'll come on back, cause I know, though you meant to let me go, I could always be your boomerang, I'll come on back, you'll see, all you said got through to me, and I would like to be your boomerang, I flew apart with I know, though you meant to let me go, I could always be your boomerang. I'll come on back, you'll see, all you said got through to me, and I would like to be your boomerang. I'll come on back, cause I know, though you meant to let me go, I could always be your boomerang. are on tour starting when? Uh, starting middle of June and uh, for most of the summer. All right, very good. BareNakedLadies.com. The new album is Grinning Street coming out June 4th. And this is a song called Easy. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks you. for watching, everybody.
tell your tale and it never fails you just end up feeling bad for you with your hang dog eyes you can bring me down now i'm wrapped around your whole hand stop looking so surprised Play this game, you'll no longer be the only one 